everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another Sunday meal prep. I'm getting a little bit late start today. We went to a breakfast buffet for my father's birthday this morning, so had some nice quality time spent with family. So I'm getting a little bit late start and I am having a hard time waking up today. I am so tired from this time change. So I'm gonna get right into meal prep. On the menu this week for breakfast, super easy, just eggs, vegetables, and maybe some turkey tenderloin or Canadian bacon. Um, just kind of like a healthy breakfast prep. I wanna keep my breakfast low this week because I'm not sure how much the lunches are gonna be. I don't know how much cheese I'm gonna be using because I'm gonna be making pizza pinwheels. I'm so excited to have these and I'm hoping, I'm just not sure how much stuff I'm gonna be putting in them. So I wanted to keep breakfast low just in case I need to use about eight or nine points for lunch. And then uh, dinners this week, I have two or three that I'm gonna prepackage. And then just a couple things for snacks. If you're new to my channel, I do follow the WW Blue program, but I will always share with you the points for all three programs. So if you wanna see how I prep breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks for my husband and I, then stay with me. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Christy, and I'm planning us healthy. easy. I am actually going to use some steamable vegetables. I get these at uh, Sam's Club. I was going to put some fresh vegetables in there like broccoli, peppers, cauliflower, but then I decided to just do these. These are just as easy. Normally when I make these in meal preps, I just put dump them right from the bag into the meal prep container because when we heat them up, it usually cooks them. But because I'm going to be reheating eggs, and reheating eggs does not take a long time at all. You definitely don't want to overheat them. So I decided to go ahead and steam these first. So I've actually been steaming them just in the microwave. I'm just not putting them for the full time. Like these say to steam them for about seven minutes. I put them on for five minutes. I'm going to do 12 scrambled eggs. So we're going to have two eggs in each one. It's going to be one point for blue and purple, and then five points for green if you use two eggs. Uh, that will depend on how many eggs. The vegetables are zero. And actually, you know what? I may have to count a point for the turkey tenderloin. This is turkey tenderloin that I had left that I had put in the freezer. I used this in the lunch last week, and that is so good. So I'm just going to cut some of that up and put it in the breakfast. But I want to say that's like one point for four ounces, so I may just add an extra point for that. Okay, then I'm gonna add just about maybe like an eighth of a cup of water and get these scrambling on the stove. Okay, so since I'm gonna be reheating my eggs, I am not going to cook them as long as I normally would. I'm gonna just stop them early. And now I'm just gonna cut up this turkey. And this is actually already fully cooked, so I'm not gonna bother cooking it. It'll just reheat when we reheat the, the breakfast during the week. I know I'm not gonna have more than four ounces in each one, so I'm just gonna kinda portion it the best that I can into the six trays. So if you're new to my channel, I am basically just meal prepping breakfast and lunch for my husband and I for three days. We do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. I just don't like meal prepping out too far. Um, three to four days is really the max that I like to do. And then Thursday and Friday, we usually do something different. This week, I'm gonna do like tuna salad one day, which is basically just tuna fish with mayonnaise on lettuce. And then Friday, I'm gonna do a cucumber sandwich, which basically you just take a cucumber and you peel it gut out the inside and then put like your turkey and cheese and then put the top you, you're using the cucumber basically as bread so really low point option so i'm just gonna put these in here and if you're new to meal prepping i'm just trying to give you ideas that you can do different things and how easy it is just to throw things together you don't have to 
do anything big like I do. Well, <laughs> I'm like, I couldn't figure out there's something missing. Okay, that's better. I had two in one. Okay, so now I'm just gonna put the vegetables and the eggs in there. breakfast this week very low in points like I said you could also if you like hot sauce on your eggs you could put some hot sauce in a cup and take that with you I'm not gonna do that this week all right so I'm gonna set those aside let them cool down a little bit and then I'm gonna move on to the pizza pinwheels all right so moving on to lunch and the pizza pinwheels I'm so excited to try these so I've never made these before, so this is gonna be an experiment that I'm taking you all with me on. What I'm using for the pizza pinwheels are these Olay Extreme Wellness Wraps. These are the high fiber wraps, so these are the ones that are one point. So double check your wraps because some of these are two points. Um, these ones are one. I'm going to use part skim mozzarella. I'm thinking I'm gonna use two points worth, which is one ounce uh, on each one. I have turkey pepperoni. Uh, make sure depending on the tur turkey pepperoni you use I want just one point worth the serving size on this one is 14 slices I mentioned this in my grocery haul video but if you toggle you can actually have up to 20 or you can actually have 21 turkey slices for two points once it hits 22 then it's three so the serving size is 14 but when you put it in your app you can actually have 21 so I think what I'm gonna do to keep it to one point, I'm gonna use 12 slices on each one. I'll see what it looks like. I think it's gonna be plenty. And then I'm also using this reduced fat, uh, it's part skim mozzarella cheese. You can use one eighth of a cup for one point. And I am going to use some of the Prego traditional sauce. This is higher in points. This is three points for half a cup. I'm just gonna use an eighth of a cup, which is gonna be one point. So if you have some zero point marinara that you would rather use, um, go ahead and use that. I think what I'm going to do is, because I don't want it to get soggy, so I'm thinking I may just mix the sauce in the ricotta, or you know what, I may, I may just put the, I think I might just put the sauce in a separate container, like one of my little containers here. And then we can kind of just dip the pin pinwheels in it. I think I'm going to do that because I'm afraid that if I put the sauce, every time I'm filming my dog comes out for water, I'm afraid if I could put the sauce on there, it's going to make it really soggy. In fact, I was going to put tomatoes on mine, but I, um, again, the, ju the juice, water from the tomato, it may make it soggy. So I'm putting some red peppers and green peppers in mine. For vegetables, you can put whatever you want on it. So I'll just show you how we're going to make one and then I'll go through and do the other ones after. So I'm going to get my scale. And I've mentioned before I always weigh things in grams. It just seems to always come out better that way. So on this one, 31 grams is an eighth of a cup. <laughs> oh, I thought it was just on. So that's... So I think with the sauce, mine, I believe, are going to be six points. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, and six. So it's gonna be six points for each one. That's why I wanted to keep my breakfast low because I didn't know if I was gonna want one of these or two of these. I'll see once I cut them up. But I'm gonna be pairing it with some other things on the side, kind of like a, it'll be kind of like a bento lunch. Uh, I'm gonna, I, need, I have some jello in the fridge that I wanna use up. All right, so there's the ricotta. Now, again, if you want, you can put your sauce in there now. That's completely up to you. So the next thing I'm gonna do is put my mozzarella on it. 
And if you want your mozzarella uh, melted, you can melt this after you put it on. I'm going to do these cold. I'm just going to eat them cold. So I'm using the part skin mozzarella and I'm just shredding it myself. I like to shred my own cheese rather than buy the cheese that's shredded. We're going to just see what this looks like for one ounce. So one ounce is 28 grams. I don't know why I had to look at that. I <laughs> measure out 28 grams for everything. So I think that's good. If this, if I was making this into like a pizza, I think I would probably want more cheese, but since I'm gonna be rolling it up, I think that's plenty. All right, so we're gonna be using two points. And then the pepperoni, like I said, 12 slices is one point. And that's gonna be quite a lot on there. It's actually perfect. That is the perfect amount. Then we'll add our peppers and onions, not onions, <laughs> our peppers. I thought about doing mushrooms, but again, I was afraid the water from the mushrooms would make these soggy. So if you were making these fresh, you could definitely add whatever you want to them. I just try to keep in mind that they're going to be sitting for a couple days. So right now, this is five points um, on everything. Five on blue. I'm trying to think if there's anything here that would change it. No, it's five on blue, purple, and green. So that's all we do. Now we're just going to roll them up very carefully now I'm just going to cut them see the ends don't really have a whole lot in there Those look really good. So then we're just gonna put them in our containers. Yeah, those ends don't have too much in them. So I'm gonna sneak the ends in there. I think that's gonna be plenty. I thought that maybe I would want to make two, but I think that's going to be plenty because I am actually going to be putting in a jello with these and I have some celery sticks that I'm throwing in there and I also have some cucumbers and tomatoes that I'm going to put in with each dish. And finally, I'm going to put my eighth of a cup of sauce in there. Perfect. And then, now for my husband's, he doesn't want jello. He wants pudding in his, so his will be a little bit more points. But for mine, this is what I'm having. So now I gotta try and make room for this. Okay, so that is what our lunch looks like. So, a nice little lunch. I'm excited. All right, I'm gonna put the rest of these together and then I will show you what we're doing for dinners. dinner kits and I'm just putting everything into each of these bags 
Basically, I'm writing on the bags and I'm using dry erase marker. These are the resealed, reusable bags. They're reusable bags that I get off of Amazon and I have them linked down in the description box. They, I use the dry erase marker on them and a lot of people have questioned how it comes off. I use just a warm water and washcloth and it came off pretty good the first day. Now when it got to the, the one that I had in there from Wednesday, I really had to scrub that one. So, but I have heard that rubbing alcohol works real, works real well on it. So I'm going to be putting together um, my kits. Basically, I'm just putting everything that I need in the bag so it's all portioned out, ready to go. And then when I get home from work, I can just pull the kit out and everything's already measured. So I have enough in each bag for two portions for my husband and I. So for example, on this night, I'm doing garlic herb pork tenderloin with roasted potatoes, carrots, and gravy. And for this one, I actually, oh, and I wanted to mention about the bags. I actually had this one in the dishwasher, and as you can see, it kind of melted the top. So I don't know if maybe I read it. I'll have to recheck it and see. It, I'm just wondering if maybe I read it wrong and it's not supposed to go into the dishwasher. So if you order these, I would say don't put them in the dishwasher. Just kind of hand wash them yourself. And this was the first time I put them in the dishwasher. So normally I wouldn't put something like that in there. All right, so for the garlic herb pork tenderloin, I actually forgot to buy carrots, so I'm gonna have to get my carrots later. But I have a potato, and my husband and I split three quarters of a pound, so I have here a 12 ounce potato. This is gonna be, this whole dinner kit is gonna be nine points for blue, six points for purple, and 12 points for green. So if you wanted to lower your points, you could definitely use less potato. This actually makes quite a bit when you cut up the potatoes and the carrots. Because I kind of cut them like they're um, kind of like in the form of a fry, a french fry. So I'm just going to put the potato in there and then I'm going to put my topping together. So for the topping for my pork tenderloin, it's just a tablespoon of stone ground mustard. So one tablespoon of the stone ground mustard and then a half a tablespoon of olive oil. And then a little bit of chives. And you can use fresh chives if you want. And then the equivalent of about one tablespoon or one uh, garlic clove of garlic. Now I have on the recipe for this, I have that it's uh, minced garlic, like shredded garlic, but I'm just going to use this kind. And all the recipes will be listed down in the description box below. So the next thing I'm going to put in my bag is 10 ounces of pork tenderloin that I have prepackaged already. And my husband and I will split that. I'm going to put the topping in there. And the other thing that I usually, so if I had carrots, I would put the carrots in there as well. The other thing, I usually use the Heinz pork gravy, um, but for this one I'm all out, so I'm just going to use this brown gravy, so I'm just going to put that in there. And that's all I do for the dinner kit. So just makes it a little bit easier throughout the week. So the next one I'm going to do is garlic parmesan salmon with rice. I'm not going to put the rice in here. That's just instant rice. For this one, I'm going to be having broccoli with it. So I'm just putting the broccoli down in the bag. And again, I'm not uh, washing it or anything tonight. I'll wash it the night we have it. And then I'll put my salmon in there. I have one pound of salmon. So for this one, this actually makes um, enough for three for the salmon. I always make three servings of salmon when I make it. And I either have it like for lunch one day or um, I will give some to my dogs. For the topping for this one, it is one eighth of a cup of Parmesan cheese. One eighth of a cup of just regular Italian breadcrumbs and one eighth of a cup of panko. When something calls for breadcrumbs, I always use the uh, a mixture of the two. I don't know why, I've just always done that. And finally, about a half a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. And that's it. And then the rest of the topping for this one will be uh, a tablespoon of light butter, 
and a tablespoon of minced garlic, but I'm not gonna be putting that in the bag. I'll just do that the night. So the purpose of showing these dinner kits is not necessarily to show you the recipe, but to show you just basically how you can make your own dinner kit with any recipes that you're making. So you can just kind of portion everything out and just pre, you know, pre-package it and get it ready for the night that you're gonna have it. So that's all there is for that one. The last one I'm gonna be doing is blue cheese buffalo meatball. So for this one, for the cauliflower, the ranch cauliflower, I'm just gonna put that down in the bottom of the bag. And like I said, I'll wash it the night we have it. For the topping on that, it is just light sour cream. Um, you want one ounce of sour cream to a half a teaspoon of the ranch seasoning mix. And I'm not weighing these out because I know I've weighed them out enough to know that it fills these. All right, so I have two of these, one for me and one for my husband. So those will go in there. The next thing I'm gonna be using is some ground turkey. This is actually, for this one, it's gonna be nine points for the whole dinner. It's seven for the meatballs because I'm using the 93% ground turkey. But on the website, it has, if you're using ground turkey breast and also ground beef, it has the points for that. This is actually one pound of turkey, so I will end up just taking some of it out as when I cook it because I'm only gonna need 12 ounces. All right, the other thing I need is an ounce of blue cheese crumbles, and I'm using this reduced fat blue cheese crumbles, so I'll put that in there. I also need a tablespoon of light butter, which I'm not gonna put that in the bag. I need two green onions. And the last thing is one ounce of Frank's Red Hot Sauce. And then that goes in there. And that is it. So that's how I do my dinners. And this is the bag that got a little bit destroyed. But that's going to be okay because my turkey is already... Uh, closed up anyway, so if it's open a little bit, that's going to be all right. We'll just fold it over. So that's how I do my dinners. So now I'm going to just put everything out on the table and show you the close ups of what we end up with and go over the points with you. All right, so this is what we end up with for meal prep this week. And I forgot to mention, normally I like cut out snacks or <laughs> not cut out snacks. Normally I will like cut up snacks for the week or measure out my pretzel crisps and things like that but for this week the snacks that I have are not anything that I need to do anything with I'm gonna have apples and PB2 and I have my uh, puddings and I have some yogurt in here if I want to use that and the other thing that I've been snacking on at night is popcorn so there's really no prep to do with that uh, the one morning that I am gonna have breakfast is gonna be my fiber one cereal I think I put that I was having Cheerios but um, I have some Fiber One cereal in there that's already measured out. And then I have a half a cup of unsweetened almond milk that I'll have with that. And I take that to work with me. So these are the breakfasts. And like I said, I'm going to count them as one point, even though I don't even know that that's necessarily a point worth of turkey tenderloin. I mean, that might be a couple ounces. So... And then, of course, the eggs are zero. If you're on green, the eggs would be two. And then zero for the vegetables. And I did go ahead and already put some spray butter on there. So that's our breakfast for the week. And then this is what lunch looked like. Those look really good. I was impressed. Um, but you could try them different ways. I, I did try a bite, and they were, they were actually pretty good. I'm curious if they will be filling. Um, but you can put anything if you don't like ricotta cheese you could use something else I just thought ricotta cheese would be a nice mix. I actually bought the ricotta cheese to mix with the um, Sauce, but then decided not to do that. So uh, and then this one is my husband's He's actually having it with pudding and then he's got two over here that he'll have with pudding I'm gonna have mine with zero point jello. So zero for the jello zero for the tomatoes zero for the cucumbers zero for the celery and then I have the sauce, 
which is one point and what did I say those were five points for those so that is a six point lunch for me and an eight point for my husband because he's having the pudding all right everyone we made it through another week so thank you so much for watching please make sure to give this video a thumbs up so make sure to let me know down in the comments below how you're doing with your meal prep and let me know if you're going to try any of these if you're new to my channel, I hope you'll consider subscribing. Make sure to click the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you're notified anytime I upload new content. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll talk to you in my next video. I'm Christy and I'm planning us healthy.